Hey, sweethearts, how are you today? What's going on with you? So, I have uh, leftovers from yesterday. I have some uh, crab legs, corn, potatoes, mussels, and shrimp. So, let's get started. How was your day today? I had a busy one. Happy to be home now. Tired. Guys, this corn is so good, and this sauce, I swear, is better the next day. And I just put it all in a um, freezer bag and then just pop it back into a pot to steam for just a few minutes. So I hope you guys had a good day. I had an awesome day today. No complaints. But if I did have some complaints, what good are they going to do, huh? <laughs> no heat in doing that, y'all. Trust me when I tell you that. Whatever it is, just make the best of it. Make, make the best of the situation. And get on through it. That's all you can do. The lemon seed. Mm. <clears throat> I love that ginger, y'all. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Mm. So spring break is coming up, guys, for the kids. I know you guys are like, what is my... But for me, spring break is coming up. I like to be prepared. Especially like if I'm going to do a vacation or something. So what are you guys doing for spring break? You guys have anything planned? Taking any trips? I'm trying to figure it out because... Faith's birthday is the 21st of March. And she will be 14. So she's trying to decide if she wants to have a birthday party or what. Or if she wants to take a little trip. And I want to take her to Universal Studios because she's never gone to Universal. And I think she would love it because I love Universal. You know, and she's, you know, gone to Disney, and she's older now, even though Disney is for a person of any age, trust me. I went to Disney for my honeymoon, my first marriage. I say first marriage because there will be a second. He just hasn't found me yet. <laughs> But he will soon because single life is becoming played out, guys. Especially for me because I've got a child, a teenager. Which is crazy because most of my friends that are my age 
their children are grown. Their children are adults. My friends that are my age, I'm 45, guys. My friends that are my age are becoming grandparents. And I still have a teenager. One of my friends, Felicia, her daughter is a teenager. But she, Lauren is, I think, 14. Paige is 13, so Lauren is, yeah, Lauren just turned 15, actually. So, you know, she's a little older. And not just that. Felicia's mom is still alive, you know, still living, so, excuse me guys, my mom is deceased, so, that plays a huge factor, and, um, you know, help with pay, so, she's always with me, her dad and I are divorced, so, you know how that goes, she's like, always with me, and she doesn't like her dad's girlfriend, so we don't torture her with, you know, staying the night and things over there. Of course, they spend time together. But she doesn't like spend the night over there and things like that. It's crazy. Complicated. But, you know, I'm sure some of you single moms understand. But she has to, you know, have her dad. So, they spend time together. She just doesn't do a lot of overnight. And a lot of times that's the difference with dads and moms, huh? Because anyway, the women that I know wouldn't have their child around, you know, people that would make them uncomfortable. But, you know. It is what it is, and I always want my daughter to be comfortable. So, I don't sit in her places that she's not. And fortunately, her dad and I agree on that. thing about this is because these are leftovers and they've been reheated I gotta eat all <laughs> and then when you're eating with your hands it's not like somebody can share it with you right And plus, you guys know, I always make more than this anyway, so there's always more for someone else. Ooh, that ginger, y'all. That ginger? Mm -hmm. I love ginger. I love it. And ginger is really good for you guys. That went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> I keep using my linen napkin. And I washed the other one the other day. And before I washed them, I soaked them, though. You know, I soaked them in some oxy because I definitely wanted this oil to come out of them. So, they washed up pretty well. No stains. 
So we shall see. These are actually just some really cheap little napkins. I think I paid a dollar a piece for these and one of those little like off like dollar stores, not the Dollar Tree, but like Dollar Castle. They have really nice little inexpensive decor stuff in those places, guys. The little Dollar Castle. If you have never gone, if you don't check them out, check them out. Glassware. So you can get, you know, like cute little decor pieces in there. Of course, they're not a dollar. <clears throat> but, you know, they're inexpensive. Even dishes. Even dishes. If you're a person who likes to decorate like me, you love decor pieces, those little places are nice. You have to check them out. Uh-oh, yeah, because it's been reheated now. Mm, it's so good. Nothing like king crab. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. It's succulent, you know? Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys, that's spice. Oh, that's good. Put that. mm. I'm going to dip it in that sauce. And then I'm going to put some lemon on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's going to be so good, y'all. Mm. That is good. Mmm. That's good. Make you do a little dance. That's good, guys. Mm, mm, mm. I wish you were here eating with me. Mm. I would make you some. But I hope you're enjoying whatever you're eating right now. Even if it's some popcorn. I know I love some popcorn. These things are murderous on your hands, let me tell you. Mmm. so good. Mm, mm, mm. People always say, I know a lot of people that don't eat crab because they say it's too much work for your food. But if they only knew that it's worth the work. And I hate when people are allergic to seafood and they can't enjoy it. Mm-mm-mm. I remember when I used to eat a lot of chocolate. I don't care for chocolate like I used to. I used to love chocolate, chocolate anything. And it's so funny because I used to always wish that I was allergic to it because I loved it so much. I used to be like, oh, I wish I was allergic to chocolate so I couldn't eat it. Because I used to love it. But one day, I just stopped caring for chocolate as much. And I only like chocolate if it has nuts in it now like for real i only like chocolate if it has nuts in it no mm. mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> that's good y'all so good i had to come up with a little mukbang song for my channel Everybody's got a little song. I want a little song for my channel too, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. That's so good. Okay. 
guess what time? I'm going to go to the gym. I'm eating this and then I'm going to the gym. I may only be good for 45 minutes a day. But at least I'm going to get it in, right? And after this, these potatoes, I need the gym. And this butter. Because the seafood isn't bad. That's why I eat it. I'm not a really big meat eater. Like, I ate those ribs. Because Paige had a taste for some. And then I'm like, yeah, I want some ribs too. So I ate a few. But I don't eat a lot of meat meat, you know. I'll do like ground turkey or something like that. You know, with some tacos or something. But I'm not a big meat eater, so. I'm more of a seafood person or just vegetables. And I used to do a lot of chicken, but for some reason, lately, chicken just hasn't been just app looking appetizing to me, you know. Like I said, I ate some chicken the other day, and I think it's because I didn't prepare the chicken. But when I have to prepare it, I don't really want it anymore. And I don't know what that is. It's just, you know, how we go. How we, you know, we go and we grow and things change. Sometimes you like things and maybe even the next year you don't. You know, your tastes are always changing. I've always loved chicken wings. I've always loved chicken. But now it's like the only thing. I, but years ago, the only part of the chicken I could eat was wings. And then I started eating other parts of the chicken, which I've never been a big dark meat person. So I just started eating like breasts and Every once in a while, I have a thigh, you know, if it were like a soup or something like that, or like a fox. But I really don't care for any other part of the chicken besides wings. So I've been doing a lot of seafood. So that's what I like. So, anyway, guys, I got to get out of here because you guys know I can't do a really long video. So I will see you guys later. And don't forget, we're trying to get this channel up to 200 before the end of the month, okay? So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Excuse me, guys. Woo, leave me a comment. And please subscribe to my channel. And share this video with anybody that you think would be interested in it. And that you'd like to join our savvy Maggie sweetheart. Okay? All right, my sweethearts. I love you guys for real. And I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye-bye.